Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you my way of recording automation in VCREC with this MIDI controller and this remove light module from Story Melder. So now I can just turn up the recording into this modules simultaneously to the eight instances and just driving on faders. So I distribute this chord through eight voices. And just press record button again. The automation start from beginning. So let me show you my settings for one instance of remove module. So sample rate I choose 30 gears just because it allows you to record 506 46 seconds it's around 9 minutes and I think it's reasonable time of such an ambient composition so I stay with four uh, numbers of sequences just enough for me you know uh, this option I believe doesn't matter in this setup and this is the main option for recording the input into remove not uh, you know it allows also record button movement so I choose manual and we just press record button and recording will start and stop uh, regarding you play the button. Uh, play mode you can choose one of them. Loop mode, mode I think is the best way of choosing modulations through your draft or composition on arrangement and also amazing options is sequence loop so uh, those sequences uh, let me show you switch it on controller will be switching like that so you can record different amount of sequences and it will jump between them. Uh, so next important option is uh, port sequence mode. I choose a trigger so I will show you how I map it. So I map my uh, this button on Cork Nano Control to this button in triggers and when I press it, the CV trigger sent to those inputs simultaneously, like that. Very handy. Another option for run mode is a trigger. By default, remove light module uh, just stopping when you press. Uh, record button but I want a loop uh, what I record before so I put record trigger output to this merge model and merge it with run button from controller so it's just stop and if we press again it will continue to play 
so just merge it and when we press uh, record again like this let me show you so you start recording drive some levels here and decide to stop it and please look at this input we'll show short trigger like that and I tell you before that it sends from record output trigger so this is relation option for this um, trigger output from rec I set port in voltage from 0 to 10 and port out voltage as well so I copy these settings through each remote light button and let me show you uh, how I map this controller so as I show you before this is a main record button here so you press it it trigger um, I believe this uh, module from AS and what about this mutes module I map each uh, knob uh, button here so if we okay let's say uh, uh, now we just record these four faders and we don't have um, uh, hand for these four faders then we press record again let's mute already uh, recorded um, faders and press record for these faders it's pretty awesome press the record button again so now it's looping but phase is uh, non relative to each error so I just press uh, reset which I map here and then um, as a minimum here it's start from zero point but next you will see that phase is not relative I won't use phase input in this tutorial just because uh, it's more for rhythmic style of music you know and I just show you here an Alessandro Cortini way of recording uh, chords as a voices So next mapping here is a, a record by each module. I map it through the MIDI CAD module, so it won't uh, relate to CV input. So if we want re-record, for example, first instance of remove, we just want to press to record and record it another one and another one just a lot of nice possibilities here let me activate all inputs here is a separate sequence switch that I'm up here, 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 here. So I press it and want record some variation here, some variation here, and some variation here, and so on. So this button mapped 
for switching all of sequences like that. Okay, let me show you the patch itself. So it's four instances of LEDs and here is a chord from RG modules and here is a poly instances for these faders of basal and at last thing I want to show you this uh, curves can be its V modulation for your modules as well so you will change a timber when um, this curves present here. Let's change for polyphonic module to be more obvious, I think. So you may ask me about how to set uh, levels for start your recording from scratch and I answer you like that. You press record button and turn it all down. So let's see you want to start from this voice. Okay, press the record button again and you start with this voice and let's record something so I hope this tutorial will be very handy for you especially when you interested in creating ambient music in a quite musical way with faders you know as in analog environment you can get this patch and template with those bunch of cables on my patreon for support thank you for watching see you next time